In this video, we will walk through completing a SAM project in CIS 110. First, you will want to navigate to the module you are working on. We will use Word Module 1 for this example, but you will complete a similar SAM 1 and SAM 2 project assignment for every module or chapter this semester. The SAM 1 and SAM 2 projects will have you work inside of Microsoft Office again, similar to the textbook project, except the instructions are located somewhere different, not in the ebook or your physical textbook if you have one of those. I will show you where to find those instructions for the SAM 1 and SAM 2 projects in this video. Also, the documents will already be started for you. They will not open blank like the textbook project did. I'm going to hover my mouse over the Word Module 1 SAM Project 1 Cengage link and click it. Once you click this link, all the resources will open over in our SAM portal, including the start file and directions for completing it. Once you work through this video and once you complete the SAM Project 1 assignment, you will also want to complete the SAM Project 2 assignment. Your view will open similar to this one. Again, noting the project file name, the number of submissions allowed, and the number of submissions you have remaining. You always have five submissions for every SAM project file in our course. You'll want to begin by clicking the Start button. You will be brought to this Start screen. There are again three areas that you'll want to note. You'll want to first click and save your instruction file. The SAM projects differ slightly from the textbook project in that you will be referencing these instruction file Word documents for every SAM project. All of your instructions will be located in that file. You'll want to click and save your start file. Again, the start files for the SAM projects differ slightly from the textbook project because once we open it, you'll notice that there are some information already included in our file. Our instruction file walks us through changing and fixing some of the information that's already started in the start file. You'll also want to, again, save your support files from this section. These are usually pictures, and again, you want to click and save them to your computer. Do not open them. So if you're using Google Chrome web browser, it will automatically save to your downloads folder. If you're using Mozilla Firefox or Internet Edge web browsers, then you'll want to make sure you click save instead of opening. So I'm going to start by opening our instructions file and our start file that we downloaded from here. Again, I'm going to split my screen where my instruction file is over here to the left and my start file is over here to the right. I'm going to click Enable Editing on both, and now I'm ready to save my file. Remember, when we saved the textbook project in a prior assignment, we needed to make sure the file name was exact, and that is no different here. This is easier to save because we are not changing the entire file name. We are only going to file, save as, and we want to change this one at the end of the file name to a two. That is it. We don't need to change the whole file name. We just change the one at the end to a two and press save. Now we're ready to begin with project step number one. All right. As we go through these steps, you will notice that these are also different from the textbook project because it doesn't include any screenshots. It doesn't really tell you how to complete the steps. It just tells you to complete them. If you notice here in step 1A, it tells you to change the document theme to office. You will have learned how to do this in our SAM training assignment as well as the textbook project. So by now, you should have a firm grasp on how to change the document theme. But if you forgot, no worries. You can simply go back and reference your reading or the SAM training. So to do that, we're going to go to design and I'm going to go to theme and I'm going to go to office. Then I'm going to do step 1B, change the document theme colors to red again under the design tab, colors and red. Then step two tells me to change the margins to narrow. So under layout, I go to margins and narrow. 
Step three, it has me resize my picture. So I need to double click on that to get my picture formatting tools. It wants me to make this 2.5 in height, a center shadow rectangle picture style. And again, I can hover my mouse over these until I find the right one. And then it wants me to apply the glow five point brown accent color six. And I'm just hovering my mouse until I find the right one. Now, if you happen to notice that your view is not including the correct colors that you see that you need here in the instructions, you may want to go back and make sure you have changed the document theme as well as the document theme colors. That drastically changes every color that's available to you while you're working on your file. So that may mean that you missed one of those. So I'm going through all these steps and there are, as you scroll down, you'll see 15 total steps here to complete it. And then at the very end, it'll also show you what it should look like in the end. So this is a great screenshot to compare yours in the end. Once you've completed all 15 steps or however many steps are included in your SAM project, you're able to do one final save and submit your project to SAM. We'll click on continue. And again, use this blue button with a white arrow on it. And we'll want to choose our file. Again, if you get a green check mark, you're good to go. If you get a red X, it'll usually tell you that the file name may be incorrect. Make sure that your file name matches this exactly. Again, without the .docx, that is added automatically. You do not need to add, to add the .docx to your file name. If you need to change your file name, you're able to copy and paste this here into your file name. So let's click Submit. And I'm able to view my graded score report. Now, so I would generate an error, you'll notice at the top here that my submission score is a 98 out of 100. I purposefully left this at 3.5 instead of changing it to 2.5. So you'll see here as I scroll down, it says my resizing a picture, it should be 2.5 inches high. If I double click here, mine was on 3.5. And again, I did that intentionally so I could generate an error. So I want to go back and change that to 2.5. You'll want to fix any errors that are noted here in your score report. So you'll notice here every step is included in your score report and you'll either receive a check mark or an X and how many points that step was worth. Once you've fixed all errors, you'll want to save your document again and resubmit to Sam. So I click on resubmit, choose my file again, making sure I've saved it to update it, click submit, and view my new graded summary report. Now you'll see once I fix that error, I have a 100 out of a 100. You're able to continue fixing any errors that you notice in your score report and resubmitting up to that max submission of five attempts.